Hello everyone, my name is Lucas and today we're going to learn how to make a typewriter effect for your games. So when you don't want your text to come up all at once and we just want to get like one letter at a time. So we will start by setting up the scene by creating a UI image and we're going to change some of the canvas settings I'm going to set the screen space to camera and assign the main camera and also I'm going to in the canvas scalar I'm going to scale with screen size so this will make sure it looks the same in different devices now I'm going to increase the width of my image to around 450 times 200 and I'm also going to change the sprite to input field so it looks a bit nice now here I'm going to change the name of this image to dialog box and inside dialog box we're going to create a text element and we're going to change the font size so you see the text disappear and this is because here we have wrap and truncate so we want to change the second one to overflow and the first one as well but yeah, just play with the settings until you feel comfortable I think 50 is fine and here I'm going to center it and yeah that should do so here we can type hello stranger okay so maybe I'm going to do a little bit smaller now we're going to add a component and we're going to create a script called type writer effect or you can call it dialog controller as you like so first we're going to delete the update because we're not going to need that and we're going to create and I enumerate a function. I'm going to call it show text. So basically what we want to do is make a loop that waits for some time before showing the next character. So for that we're going to need some variables. First of all is a float we're going to make those public float speed and I'm going to start it as 0 0.1 this is the speed that it will wait before showing each new character we're also going to need a string and I'm going to call it full text this is what's going to be shown when the text has completely been displayed and we also want to have a private variable called current text and this is going to be like this because it always starts empty so now, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit and we're going to use a for loop and this for loop is going to run as many times as this text has characters so if this text here has 20 characters we're going to run this for loop 20 times so int i equals 0 i less than full text text dot length and I plus plus so what we want to do is make current text equals a substring of full text and the substring will go from 0 to I so current text is equals full text dot substring and here we give our starting parameter 
and the amount of steps that it will take. So it's i. So current text is going to be full text from 0 to i. And then, of course, we want to yield, return new, wait for seconds. And we're going to wait for speed seconds. So actually, this should not be speed, but it should be called something like delay. So I'm going to change that variable name and call it delay. So remember to use this command here. This will wait for a set amount of seconds. If we want to use this function, if you're using C sharp, we need to make a function that is a I enumerator. So now it's going to loop, do this, and wait for 0 0.1 seconds, and then go to the next part. But now we need to get a component, and that's the text component. To get a text component, we need to tell Unity that we are using Unity Engine dot UI. This will allow us to get the text component. So before the delay, I'm going to add another line. This dot get component, and I'm going to get text. And the variable I want from this is text. And I'm going to set it equal to current text. Now this should be ready for testing. So I'm going to call this routine here, show text. And let's try it. So um, before I do this, I need to set my full text. So hello. So now we can try this by hitting, I'm going to delete this. Uh, where's the text? Here. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to hit play. And hello, please like and share my videos. So as you can see, we went character by character until the full text was displayed. Uh, you can change your width. Uh, Here's overflow, so maybe wrap it and make it uh, bigger width, about 420. And we can try it again. And you see it's going to start yeah, keeping feet inside of your box. I want to thank my friend that we had a conversation on Facebook and he gave me the idea to make this video. So that's how you make a typewriting effect. I think it's quite simple to understand, but if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will definitely try my best to help you. Thank you very much and I will see you next time. Goodbye.